Like donuts over here. I wonder why. I'd say it's probably because of this place right here. We are about to go and try to get in the virtual queue, if there is one. It doesn't look like there's a line for Everglazed. This one opened up just recently here, and we uh, want to kind of try it out. Yeah. Let's see how that line looks. Because donuts make me happy. All right, let's go make you happy. It doesn't seem that there is a line. It's just the few people that are in here and us. All right, we just left Everglaze. There was no wait at all. We walked right in. We were able to, pick, actually, I'm glad we got in when we did because now there's a line inside. <laughs> but there's still no need for a virtual queue because it's not that busy. They gave us this nice little bag here and they put each donut in its own little container. So you don't have to worry about having to eat it right now or it being in a box and it just being all gross and get all mushy on some paper like, like at Dunkin' Donuts or any place like that. It's easily transportable. Stay tuned for us trying these and seeing how they taste. I wish you could smell a vision. <laughs> right. Earlier today, we stopped by Everglazed over in Disney Springs and got a maple bacon and a Brooklyn blackout. It's basically chocolate. Is the donut chocolate or I think is the it donut's glazed? chocolate. The, there's chocolate chips, there's chocolate drizzle, and then this little wafer and cookies the chocolate. chocolate. Wafer. Oh, that's icing. And I think broken up chocolate wafer cookies on top. So, which one do you want to try first? Maybe the chocolate. Let's cut a little piece here. I might have diabetes after this. All right. It looks moist. Yeah? Because it sure is smushing down. It smells like a Brooklyn blackout. Hmm. That's just a whole bunch of chocolate. So this is just the cake portion of the donut. That's very doughy. Like it's like pull apart bread doughy. It's not like your typical donut dough. It's almost like bread that's sweet chocolate. That's interesting. Here, take the bottom part of this. This is without any icing or anything. I like that. That's unique. Mm -hmm. That's not like most donuts are cake where you, you take it, you bite it, it just crumbles apart. This is like bread dough almost. Very interesting. I do very much like this, by the way. The ones with all the stuff on the top, I think are all 550 and the more plain ones were 450. This is well worth that number. Like, I would expect them to charge more for this, but... I mean, it's pretty hefty. It is very hefty, and I, I, I really would expect them to charge more for this, but 550 is an awesome number for this donut. So I, I'm giving this one particularly dose thumbs up. Let's get to the next one. Now, this is the one that Tia chose. I'm not a huge bacon fan. I'm definitely not a huge bacon fan on desserts, she is. You can tell by that little face right there. It's bacon. Okay, I'm gonna let you dig into this one. I need some coffee. We brought coffee with us from the room because at the Coronado Springs, they got Keurigs in the room. Whoa. Hmm. You can actually see the hole in the middle of this. The hole in the middle of this one was filled with icing. The Ooh, small let's bit. smell that bacon. Uh-huh. This one, it's actually easier to see the doughiness of the actual dough here. The doughiness of the dough. The donut and the icing, awesome. How about the donut, the icing, and the bacon? The, just the donut. Yeah, that donut's real soft. I mean, it's good. All right, Even with on. the bacon. We're going all in. All right. Ooh, it was a good bite. I think it tastes really <laughs> good. I mean, I would not choose to get all this bacon if it were just me, but it does taste very good. I am pleasantly surprised. It's definitely a contrast to the chocolate one. If you like maple bacon, 
you'll like it. If that's not a flavor combination you like, then you probably won't like it. There is full on slices of bacon on this. Oh yeah, these are like thick cut strips of bacon all like, over the top of this. Like it's not bacon bits. No, that is thick cut bacon on top of a maple icing, like that thick sticky stuff, and then the, the white cake underneath. I like it. It's good, yeah. I'm very impressed. I was not expecting after seeing on the internet and all the little reviews of donuts and whatnot that I was going to like them this much. But these are extremely good and extremely good for the price that you're paying. Yeah. Like they're almost, it's almost like they're undervalued with how much they're charging. They're a good size, so you can totally split one with two, uh -huh. three, maybe Absolutely. four people, depending on how hungry you are. Like that one bite, I'm good right now. <laughs> it was rich. Both of these were super rich. My favorite is the chocolate. That one is very good. And mine is the opposite. Have you been to Everglaze? If so, what flavor did you get? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What flavor would you like to try the next time you go? Leave it down there in the comment below. Until next time, remember, no capes. No capes.